Hey, Collective, and happy birthday to you, boo. And I hope you're having a good fucking day. And I hope you stay put. The little air need to freeze. Like on ice. Someone see you happy. Or that you feel better without them. So you need to be cautious. Now is not the right time for you to be moving around. Or going out with them. This person is a liar. They want to confess something to you. And they want to travel to you. They have a drug and addiction problems. Or they lacking money. They've been sneaking and spying on you. And your garden angel has been protecting you from this person. You know what it is with this person. They're not that smart, it sound like. Like, it's kind of like, you never invited me anywhere. And when you did invite me, you was driving all stupid. And um, why all of a sudden you want to chill with me now? Like, this person could want to probably put something in your drink or get you jumped or play games with you, scare you, drive all crazy or take you somewhere where they know you can't get back, you know, something weird. Yeah, unrequired love. Yeah, success release your ex with cautious. Got some energy. Or don't drink so much. And when you go places, if you do, but I think you should stay home or stay, um, or switch up your routine about how you come out your house if you can, or uh, which way, or even where you're parking your car. And how, you know, go the long way when you coming in the house, if you live in uh, a, a neighborhood with a lot of houses or apartment complex in this nature. This could be the uh, one. Yeah, this is not the one. So this person don't get that. You're not going to be able to. They're not putting in the work for you. That's why this soulmate connection never worked. They thought we're just going to naturally come together. Now you got to put in the work, doofus. But you can have an air fire sign that wants to travel towards you that have a financial problem or addictions. Move with cautious with this liar. Yeah, engagement in reverse. They're in the requ unrequired love. Trying to heal family issues is what they need to be doing. This air fire sign. So this person could get on drugs and talk shit. I think they're going to do something to you. They not in their right fucking mind. Or this person don't have shit to live for. Yeah, attraction with this air and by your sign. This could be the same sex attracted to you, boo. That's why they can't get off you. Whether it's good or bad. Sometimes the same sex will pick on you because they like you. They think picking on people and getting them to react is love. They stupid like that. Narcissistic. They just make you not like them even more. This person probably played games with you and it was a totally turn off. That's why you probably not going to chill with them. You don't want them. Yeah. Separation in reverse. They going to lie and say they separated from their spouse. When their spouse probably be in the car or not far away. Are they going to try to do something to you? See, attraction with the air fire sign in reverse. They want to travel. They have problems with addiction, gambling, and financial issues. Yeah, now it's not the right time to be trying to fucking play with you about an engagement. That's in reverse. They're going to try to confess some shit to you. 
Because they've been just spying on you. They see you moving on. They see you steady, happy without them. This is their karma. And it's not their karma. They just need to get the fuck on. This person thought you was weak as hell. Yeah, they can't free themselves from this engagement. Because I feel like they can't free themselves because they ain't got nowhere else to go. They ain't got nowhere else to live. And if they go live with their mama, she ain't gonna let you smoke weed and pop pills and shit in her house and get drunk and act stupid. Or this person got a lot of kids that he, they know you're not gonna deal with. Even if you was to deal with their kids, you not these baby kids not supposed to come tear up your kids shit or tear up your house. Or think they got it good like that. And not put in the work for you to be talking about you should let their kids come play with your kids or join with a family combination. It's not worth it. Let go let your friends help you, told you. This person wanna travel towards you and letting their friends help them. Huh. They dumb as fuck. Trust. In reverse. Do not trust this person. They probably get pulled over for drinking and driving. Speeding. Flat tie. Yeah, retreat came in reverse for this person that's been spying on you. They can't disconnect. From the world with you. Sound like some kidnapping shit. Yes, codependent addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this karmic think they gonna posse up with their homegirls and homeboys and come fuck with you? Or your person gonna try to act like they wanna get engaged, but they know they can't free themselves, came in reverse. They stuck looking stupid, stuck on stupid. They wanted control and they don't have any control over that uh, person that they're with, but they want to come control you. So they getting controlled, now they wanna come try to control you. They getting bullied. And they thought they were bullying you? Not. They just assume because you're a nice person, they can use you for a backup plan. Or they could just pop up at your house when they want. Or probably demanded a key to your house. So you was like, bitch, I don't even trust you in my house alone, let alone having a key. Like, this person must be dumber than dumb. I don't give a damn if they even finish high school, depending on which one they went. To, Cause this shit is stupid. Yeah, what we'll pay for aspects? Are you, uh, in your life? Do you need to confront? Yeah, this air fireside in the unrequired love. Think they gonna feel better fucking with you? Trying to make you feel bad? Trying to make your heart blue? Is that what it is? This bitch needs to just stop watching you or get a life. If she can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. That's what it sounds like. This person can't handle the truth. I had a bitch tell me, you know what, Pony, you talk a lot of shit. Why don't I give me your address and why don't I come over there and we can fight. And I guess she thought because she was pregnant, I gave a shit. I told her, no, I'm going to do you better, bitch. I'm going to meet you at the park. Yeah, she didn't expect that. Bitch, I'll meet you at the park. <laughs> Thought I gave a shit. I was young. In my early 30s. Yes, her name, her name. This is not the one. That came in reverse. So move with cautious. These people can't take rejection. You're over there committing to what you want. 
you over there committing to me to this separation away from this liar. You commit to it. <laughs> Are they watching you on uh, your energy reads? Are they just seeing you on social media? So they know you don't give a shit. What we'll action need to be taken to get something accomplished? Yeah, that's what they trying to do. They better get a fucking life. This air fire sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Sagittarius. Are probably in the uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. What situation in your life is bringing about some type of opportunity? They ain't getting no opportunity in their life with this water earth sign. <laughs> it's like this person mad because you don't want the person that they want to be with. Or they want to get engaged to. You don't want them. But it's an unrequired love. So they're going to, even if they get married, they're going to have a fake ass relationship. They both not going to be happy. For the rest of their lives? Is this what this is? <sighs> Your person can't go in separation. Neither can this bimbo dumb jock because they they stuck together because of the kids. They stuck together because maybe this is a dope dealer with a person on Section 8. Or a bitch with a high school job and your person ain't got shit really going with them either. They don't mind a little STD every once in a while. Sound like to me, yeah. They gonna try to front like they separated out of a relationship. What situation in your life is bringing you stability you're seeking? With Sagittarius? Huh. Sagittarius looking for a relationship. Are you about to get a relationship with the fire air sign? So to me, this middle slot means this person got your person, your ex, or soulmate, or old twin flame bullshit on their mind. Both of y'all. And I feel like this air sign is attracted to you. Air fire sign, whoever will sign they are. Yeah, they not getting no opportunity dealing with this other fire air sign. <sighs> this engagement is in reverse. They stupid. Why would they want to get married? It's like one of those couples, like my cousin, he a Scorpio. He finally married his girlfriend. Who gives a shit? My ain't going to throw him a dinner. He should have been married, huh? Just like he should have been moved out of y'all property. <laughs> Stop rewarding dumb shit. Stop rewarding bad fucking behavior. Who gives a shit he's getting married? He should have been married, huh? If that's what he really wanted to do. Nobody gives a shit. That ain't nothing special. After three years, it should take more than three years for a person to marry you. That's why his first girl left. The good one. They got shit going on in her life. Left. Anyway, yeah, they can't put this to an end, friend. No transformation for this air fire sign. They're not getting anything. They can't free themselves. They came in reverse. They want to confess something to you? Ew. They want to curse you out or something with this sore heart and intellect about their engagement in reverse? Now it's not the right time, your ancestors say. They'll have several seats. Yeah. Letting go. French uh letting friends help you be cautious. They want to travel towards you. What needs to be healed in order for you to realize your deepest dreams? This person ain't getting no opportunity dealing with this karmic. That's competing with them and that enjoys putting them down, remember? Good luck with that. And your person is an empath. So they enjoyed putting you down. Now they got somebody enjoying putting them down and competing with them. So they could be engaged, but it ain't about shit. Little Ray Ray <laughs> and Bonquisha. Yes, what's trying to get your attention? 
This person trying to get you to do what? Trust them? Not happening. You see that Red Cross 20, mind, body, and soul? They need help with that. They need to be rescued. You not Captain Saver, bitch. Oh, I hope. That was going around talking shit about you. Or uh, didn't want to help you proceed in life because they felt like you had it all. Or your life was easy and they don't even know what you've been through. Don't give a shit to know what you've been through. Well, we don't give a shit what you going through, boo. Don't call the collective. What new phrases of your life are you ready to pursue? But they can't because they can't even free themselves. This, uh, I feel like this is your person. They're spying. They both spying on you. And they're being sneaky. Yes, this shit's coming to an end. This is how they relationship gonna be. <laughs> Backstabbing, they smiling your face. All the time they wanna take your place. Those backstabbers. Backs, they gonna be over there backstabbing each other. Behind drugs and liquor and money. They, I told you these people have nothing to live for. That's why they acting like this. They getting judged. They in karma. Shit. Not deal with it. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> Are you ready to commit to someone or something you love? Scorpio, Taurus, Cancer, Capricorn, whatever, water, earth, energy. No, they're not. To me, they're not ready to commit to... Okay, so they're not ready to commit to this fake-ass... Um, they're not ready to commit to you. But they don't think the one they with is the one either, remember? They moving with cautious. This person has been thinking about marrying you, thinking about not marrying you, thinking about leaving the karmic. Come on, man. This person not doing anything. They staying stuck on stupid because they don't have the power. They don't have the willpower. They don't have the ambition. They don't have the brains. And they know they cannot lead you, boo. They can't be creative. This air fire. They can't get, your person can't get their feelings aligned with this relationship. Because they broke and they just need somewhere to live. They a bum. Ass energy. Your person don't hold no value to this, but they don't have value either. Who the fuck are they? To talk about somebody don't have value, but they committed to and sign a re reverse. Attraction is there. Your person, these people are attracted to you. Uh-huh. Both of these people, this man and woman, both are attracted to you. This air in reverse, fire sign in reverse, this water, earth, energy in reverse. You about to get some big gifts and opportunity in this new relationship, maybe with a fire air sign. They could be going through a separation with the liar too. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Yes, once again, friend. This person's mother is shitty. Big hamster. What situation in your life is asking you to observe your emotions, big hamster? Hmm? Yeah, this could be still, what's that, Scorpio Taurus energy on here twice. So you got two Scorpios that's full, that can't help uh, free themselves from watching you. Could be identical twins or something. Or someone close to them like a brother, sister cousin and they feminine energy talking like bitches huh huh 
They're party in reverse. Ain't no party no more. Shut that shit down. Yeah, it was a the roof was on fire, bitch. <laughs> the party's over. They won't be traveling. They won't be partying. All these third parties they won't be traveling to watching you. They gonna feel like boo-boo for the rest of their life. Let your friends help you. So you can come over here and get your feelings hurt. <laughs> they codependent. This uh, fire air sign. Maybe they trying to do some research on you, find out where you live or something. They ass is gonna go to jail. Or they come up, they gonna come way across town and get a good ass whooping. What is this? What success of your life are you still holding on to? Yeah, whoever this person is trying to get your attention, they still holding on to you. <laughs> they still holding on. That you don't trust. Your angels are watching you. That's five pinnacles out here. That's change. You're gonna have you're gonna be changing the way you make money, or you're gonna be doing something different. Something for some of y'all, not everybody. What offer or opportunities being presented to you that you may not be recognizing? Yeah, they didn't recognize you. So you turned your fucking back. It's time for you to disconnect from the world. You about to get out there and do your thing. Make money or do whatever it is that make you happy. Why these people going to be spying on you? They try to put it into your heart and intellect. With those swords. Because they codependent. They can't move around like a boss. That's why they're not getting shit done. These are the type of people probably need to hang out at each other's job. Then when they get off, they eat lunch together. You know, they got to do everything together. We're brothers. We're happy and we're singing. <laughs> Bitch, go have a seat. They got to hang out together. They got to drink together. They got to uh, disrespect people together. What I tell you? Those family members. They can't do shit alone. They got to go drink after church together. Uh, these men are... Uh, they, these could be women where their husbands cheating on them because they run their goddamn mouth too much and they think they better than the other woman to the point where they don't even realize that they, their husbands probably have a whole nother family. Or these are men that so in their ego they would never think they girl would cheat on them because they the boss energy just with their penis and the penis ain't paying bills. The penis not getting nothing done. This could be a man that's getting his girl hair and nails done and trying to make her look good for everybody else. She's doing this shit for everybody else. She's not trying to look good for you. Yes, they can't move around like a boss. You about to have security and wealth with the king or queen of pinnacles, baby. Yes, honey. Might be a Virgo water sign. That's going to come in, friend. Might be another. Yeah, I think it's going to be a Virgo earth sign. A earth sign or a water sign. That's going to. Hold up. What is. Hold up. Got an Empress Emperor energy. A father figure. What is that? A fire sign, like I just said, or earth sign, like I told you before. Mm. Or maybe y'all both have two job big offers. You don't know which one you want to go to. Or you will have two big boss energies calling you. Yep. I had an interview yesterday and he was a Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. What's up with this? <laughs> they ain't coming at you with no devil shit. Ooh, let's keep going, child. 
Yes, these these men are not pages. This woman is not a page. Get out of here. Damn, I'm getting excited for you. Yes, honey. They don't need justice in their life. They are the boss. You got two boss energies trying to get with who? You? You, boo. You. Sound about right. She looking good to me. You looking like a star. And you got this emperor empress energy. You don't give a shit to have justice against these goddamn peasants. You don't want to play with no rat and roach. It ain't your fault. Yes, honey. Are you prepared to receive or give a love offer? This Virgo, I mean this earth energy, could be a Capricorn or a Virgo. Or another Scorpio energy. Uh, what's this? The opposite of Aries is a uh, Leo. No, sorry, Aquarius. Yeah, somebody gonna come at you with some deep feelings. And they're not gonna be moving sideways like a crab. And they ain't coming to sting and sneak up on you like this Scorpio. And these Pisces, they might not stink like fish. <laughs> or they might not be a shark. They might be a starfish. Because you got a father figure probably in some boss energy where they, this person don't have... Yes, they don't have maybe kids. What situation in your life do you need to walk away from and emotionally disattached? That's what this person needs to do. Yeah, that's what you did. So the Scorpio, Taurus Energy, Water Earth, you turned your back on that. No support them three. You got grab that one and use what mirrors to you. What area of your life needs boundaries and protection? Yeah. You don't need boundaries and protection from these fucking monkeys and your friends that just want to watch and spy on you or probably want to ride around and see if they see you like you a fucking celebrity. Because that's all they doing. They your fans. No, they ain't even your fans. Your fans support you. These bitches are groupies. Well, you got a lot of people from high school and all this watching you and cousins from out of town. Like, get a life. You are they life. That's what I heard them say. <laughs> you are they life. You giving these hoes life. Yes, honey. You giving these people life. Your energy is rare. Let's roast them. Yes, I hope you want to do an energy read with me. Like and subscribe. Let me know what's up. Leave a comment. Yeah, these people need self-care. Whenever they see you happy. <laughs> yeah. They need self-care. They get blue. They're in the unrequired love. So keep up the good work, collector. Because that's what they get. They could have been happy with you, but they too jealous of you. Well, let's see what jealousy gets you. You can't be a woman. If this the opposite says, how you going to be jealous of a man or a woman? That's stupid. But if you are dealing with a water sign, they be in their feelings too much. Yeah. This person ain't going to be dealing with no demons that's coming towards you. This could be your own father that's not creative as you. Yes, and they could be Aquarius. This could be your mother, too, and her masculine energy. Because some of y'all got mothers that think it was cool to be a single mom and shit like this. Uh, <laughs> they not as creative as you. That's watching you. They want to bring... <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they they are as creative as you. Yeah, you're not going to trauma bond with them. They can't hold you back. They can't tell you what you want to do is stupid. 
Even if some of y'all, y'all probably just want to play a sport and your parents probably told you that was stupid or they was hard on you trying to play a sport so that they can look good, they can live through you. And you like, man, this is not what I want to do. Or they want to make you the babysitter or they want to put all their problems or take all their frustrations out on you coming home bitching and not knowing what kind of mood they were going to be in. And fuck all that. Want to chew on eggshells. What is this? You're not a narcissist. That's why you're letting go of these toxic ass people. These rats and roaches. Literally. Yeah, trigger came out again, friend. You're triggering what? These pages. That's not as creative as you. Ooh wee. I think I already know which outfit I'm gonna take. We on Jeopardy and shit. Yes, honey, you, you're privileged, and that's why they can't transform. They're not going to get justice, whatever they think they're going to do, because they can't free themselves. So more they talk about you is only keeping them in a trap. Remember when we said why these people can't communicate video? Because they're too, their vocabulary is short. They've been listening and doing the same thing. They do not know how to be street smart, book smart, and intelligence. Intelligence mean they probably like some of these people probably know a lot of shit been to college, but it don't really work for them. They still living the same bullshit ass life. Like some people they like, be used to be like, why you don't go be a police officer? What the fuck for? Ain't no police officer. That's an honorable job. You take a police position because you want to move with honor. If you're not about honor, then you just gonna be driving the and pulling up, it ain't nothing a police officer got that you can't get. Besides a bunch of discounts at restaurants, which is not safe to me. But you get where I'm coming from? Like, why the fuck? Unless you about honor in your life and community. Look at this, simps. They thought you was a simp. They thought you was okay with taking things, giving them money, taking care of their kids, letting their friends help them. Partying in the wrong fucking way. Traveling and doing shit. They thought you was a simp. Like you was okay with being a sideshow bob. A backstage dancer. They thought you was a simp. They thought maybe all you needed was a 20. And they thought like damn you ain't got 20. Nah bitch all my bills are paid. My credit's good. You ain't a bad bitch if you ain't got good credit. For some of y'all, y'all need to get on that. These people don't have a clue what you do or what you about. Yeah, I have my ex trying to teach her. They're not very attractive. They're not no threat. This, this Scorpio, Taurus, water, earth, energy is not a threat. That's why they can't let you go. They really don't look good by you. That's why they not going to be, be fulfilled. They can go get all the teeth fixed and they want. Your shit probably raggedy. Why? Because you don't mind getting old. I don't give a fuck about what my teeth look like. I will fix my teeth eventually. But I'm not giving a fuck. I don't mind getting old. Fuck you mean. This is part of life. Who said Charles, uh, whatever his name is, White, still not where the fuck his name is. I don't really watch him. He's too negative. It's one thing to curse to get attention because we get that part to get the drama in, to get attention, but he overdo it. Yeah. Yeah, you're not worried about the backstabbing. That's what made you who you are. Keep backstabbing the collective. Keep on. You're not going to get shit out of it. Look, seven, bitch, you won't be getting lucky in reverse because you're codependent. You probably got some little bitch that finished college, married and everything, and was looking at you like you was stupid. And you like, bitch, you going to have financial problems, <laughs> drinking. Keep talking about the collective. What they fail to realize, that's what's giving you your good karma. And they can't free themselves from talking about you or talking bad or trying to watch your downfall. Some of these people have watched you fall. That's why I don't give a fuck about my acne or my hair being happy. It's like 
some of these people know what you're capable of, of doing. It's no point of them talk, trying to talk down on you when you're down because you just bounce back harder. It's just going to make you smarter. You're going to keep triggering them. They not no threat. These people ain't even attractive. This is why they probably hate on you. Or it could be from the respect you get from your from strangers. They already know. You don't need respect from them. What were these hoes doing in the past? Okay, so this person in the past, they used to have trust issues and a lack of accountability. Whoever's new for you, they had to learn their life lessons. Whoever the second person might be. This air fire sign energy. I bet this Libra Aries, yeah, your your dad or your mom, cause and effect, consequences, legal dispute. Got a grown ass man going to jail for assault. Can't control his fucking self. Because he codependent on drugs. Been to the military. For what? What the fuck you go for? Why you talking about the military all the time when you a piece of shit now? Why even talk about y'all going to church when y'all a piece of shit when y'all out of church? You a piece of shit when you're in there because you're codependent. You could pray at home. You could do all that. All the things you... Ooh, and let's not even get on people that talk about pastors. Um, like a pastor supposed to be broke. Why would you even want to go to a pastor church that you could see over the years? He ain't even prospering in life. <sighs> shit, I ain't shit free but ass beaten. If you have something to live for, you don't even have time for that.